Hey guys, this is a video for baritones, tubas, and trumpets on how to oil your valves. All right, there's a few things that I want you to get before we start. So the first thing is um, a paper towel. I like to use like the two smaller ones. You can use um, just one larger one or just get two. Um, that works best, I think. And then you're going to need the oil that is hopefully in your case. Um, this is what mine looks like. Whatever oil you have is perfect. Um, it just needs to be for instrument valves. Do not find some other random oil in your house. Vegetable oil is not good. Olive oil. No, don't use any of those things ever on your valves. Only You, you only want to use valve oil um, that's meant for it. So whatever yours looks like that's in your case, that's what you're going you're gonna to use. Um, I also like when we're first learning how to oil our valves to always sit on the floor next to our case to do this. Um, it's just way easier. Uh, and that's for any instrument. If you're a trumpet, baritone tuba, sit on the floor near your... Um, near your case to do this, um, cause then you can use the floor to set it down. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay. So, um, I'm going to, I set my, my baritone. So I have, I'm using a baritone for this, but the first steps here that I'm going to show you are going to be the same, no matter if it's baritone, tuba or trumpet. Um, and at the end trumpet has a few different steps that I'll show you when we get there. So I'm going to take one paper towel and put it on my lap. The other paper towel I'm going to put down here underneath my valves because okay. it just kind of protects the floor because um, they're definitely going to leak um, when you're first learning how to do this. They, they definitely will drip a little. All right. Awesome. So I got my baritone on the floor. <clears throat> I'm going to take my valve oil and I'm going to take off the top. All right. I'm just going to set the top down on the floor and the valve oil down also on the floor. Okay. Now, first thing you always want to go one valve at a time. So I'm going to start with my first valve. So for me, this is my first valve. It's the valve closest to where your mouthpiece would be. Okay. So find where your first valve is. All right. Always go one at a time. So we're going to start here. <clears throat> we always unscrew the bottom part right down here. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. I'll show you exactly what I'm doing here. Okay. So this part of the valve is the part you're going to unscrew. Don't ever unscrew it from the very top. We want to always unscrew it from the bottom. So starting with your first valve, we're going to unscrew this part right here. Hopefully it's not too hard to unscrew. Um, some of them, if they haven't uh, been taken out in a while, they can be a little harder to get. So you might need to ask a parent to help with that. Um, never, ever use any type of tool at home to open these, okay? Just use your fingers and try to get it. Don't ever take pliers, and don't let your parents <laughs> take pliers and try to open them, it'll, it'll mess up the metal. Okay, so we've got our first valve cap unscrewed. Now we're gonna carefully pull it out a little bit. So this is what the valve looks like. Yours will look a little different than mine, but basically exactly the same. Um, okay, so we are going to pull it out part of the way. Make sure your paper towel is right underneath it. All right, so I'm gonna take my valve oil that the top is off of. This tip, this little plastic tip, I'm gonna take it and touch it right to this part of the valve. Um, this is, this silver part of it, that's what needs the oil. So I'm gonna pull it down a little. All right, now I'm gonna just make sure I like, as I touch it, I'm gonna squeeze it and let some drip, droplets come out. You're gonna definitely see some that, you know, go down on the paper towel. That's what the paper towel is there for. All right, but after you put a few right on that side, you're gonna then turn it and you're gonna coat it. You wanna just coat that whole valve. All right, so notice I just went down one time as I squeezed it and let the oil come out. All right, just go as far as you can without it falling out. We don't need it to come out. All right, so there, we're gonna spin it as we do this. Good, and then this is the part that's a little trickier when we put it back in. All right, that's all you got to do to oil your valve. Now, when you put it back in, um, baritones and tubas, you are going to have a top part. I'm going to take this out just to show you guys. All right, your top part of your valve is going to look like this, baritones and tubas. You have this like plastic piece here that sticks out. It's called the guide. You need to have that guide line up 
inside the valve with this little notch that's carved into there, all right? And it only is in one spot. So your valve can only go down in one place. So you can kind of see mine, I just, I'm gonna turn it because it won't go down until I get it lined up. So I'm gonna turn mine until it finds that guide, all right? And it can just go right down, okay? So I need you to do that. Turn it until you find it, all right? So there's where mine is. So I'm gonna hold, I like to hold down the top part here, the valve cap up here. I like to hold it down as I screw this in. Um, so I'd use one finger to hold it just halfway down and then I can use this hand to screw this in. This, again, can be hard to screw back in because you have to get these, um, these threads to line up exactly with this cap, this valve cap, and sometimes it doesn't right away, okay? Some of those tubas that you guys have are hard to get lined up, all right? Now, once you've got it tightened back up, don't tighten it as hard as you can, just a little, you know, till it doesn't want to turn. And then we're going to go up and down really, really quick. All right. Trumpets, your instrument is actually different. I'm going to show you guys at the end how yours is different for that part. So you guys need to wait until you've heard my part, um, the trumpet version for that. All right. The baritones and tubas, that's what you're going to do. Now I'm going to take my other paper towel and wipe off my finger because I always end up getting a little bit of oil on my finger. All right. Um, and then you're just going to do the exact same thing. Always going one valve at a time. If you try to take this one out and then this one out at the same time, if you get them mixed up, it's not going to play. They have to be in the right spot. So I'm going to take my second valve out, do the same exact thing. Pull it out a little. Let me turn this a little so you can see better. Good. Now I'm just going to touch to it. Good. I'm going to slide it back in as I spin it around, coating the entire valve with oil. All right, coating it. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I have to, oh, I do that a little too fast. Let me show you that again. So again, there's the guide. You're going to line it up, spin it. That's where mine goes, right there. It wants to go in. All right, so hold it down part way, and then I'm going to tighten this back up. Awesome. And then up and down, wipe off my fingers. I also like to wipe off the valves because they also get a little oily. Wipe off all of it. All right, and then you can do the exact same thing with your third valve, all right? Awesome. So baritones tube is you only need to do this, like, I don't know, anytime they start to stick, which hopefully might be like every uh, other week or so, it should last at least about you know, a week. Um, every other week you can do it um, or whenever it actually needs it. That's when you're going to do it. All right. Oil your valves when they need to be oiled. Sometimes it might be every three weeks, every four weeks, every two weeks. It all depends. Some of those tubas might need it every, every week. Um, and it might even just be one valve. One valve keeps sticking. Just oil that one. All right. Or if you have more, multiple ones sticking, oil all of them. Okay. Awesome guys. I want you to practice doing that at home. Good luck. The biggest thing is if you have any issues, just email me, have your parents email me, let me know um, what is happening to mess you up at all. Um, Cause if the valves don't get in correctly, the instrument's not gonna play. You won't even get air through it if they're not back in correctly. So if after you oil your valves, if it's ever not playing, just try it again. Like check all of your valves, make sure they're in the right spot. Make sure that the guides are lined up and that they're all the way back in and they're screwed in correctly. Um, baritones and tubas, just so you guys know, you don't want to do this with your instrument up on the bell because if you unscrew this, there is actually a spring inside and the spring is going to fall out if you unscrew it, okay? So we don't want that to fall out. See, I have a spring right here. So I like to just do it laying it all the way down. If for some reason the spring comes out on you, you just put it back in, all right? But don't do it on the bell. Lay it all the way down. That's gonna be the easiest way to learn how to oil your bells. All right, trumpets. I'm gonna show you guys what to do. Baritone tubas, hopefully this helps. You guys are done. Um, trumpets, let me show you quick what you're gonna do. Okay, guys, uh, trumpets, this is for you. I have my trumpet here now. I just want to show you really quick the difference. So for you guys, I like to hold my trumpet and I have it, the paper towel underneath. Hold my trumpet with one hand. Um, then I'm going to unscrew. Always start 
one valve at a time. First valve closest to your mouthpiece. All right, so I'm gonna unscrew that one, okay? Now, kind of takes a little bit of coordination and balance here. So, oh, I accidentally put my cap back on. All right, so we're gonna take our valve oil. Now, your valves look different than baritones and tubas, right? This is what yours look like. You don't need to put any oil on this top part here. That's where your spring is. You don't have a spring in there like baritones and tubas do. Your spring is right here. So we're going to take our valve oil and we're just going to have like, we're going to squeeze it so that some droplets fall. I like to have a droplet on that side. Turn it a little. Droplet. Droplet. Mm, okay. So, and then like baritones and tubas, you just want to coat the inside all around. So we're just going to turn it around as we drop it back down. Okay. Then... Your guide is different, right? Like I said, your guide's right here. So you have to also line it up, but it's harder for you guys to know where it, the lining up it is. And it, it needs to click back in. So I don't know if you can hear that. All right, the other thing for you guys is there are numbers on your valves. And anyone using a Yamaha trumpet and almost all other trumpets that we have at Pelmac, um, you need to have your numbers, the numbers that are on the, on this part of the valve, it needs to face where your mouthpiece would be. So that number, we're gonna put it in, make sure that the number is facing the mouthpiece. So I'm gonna turn it so it's going towards the mouthpiece, drop it down, and I'm gonna listen for that click. All right, I, again, just like baritone tuba, hold the, this part of the cap down part way. I'm gonna screw this in just till it doesn't wanna turn. Great, and then you're all set. And you can do the same thing with the other valves, all right? Now, if you just took your valves out and you are now trying to play your trumpet and you put it up and you have your mouthpiece in and no air will go through and you can't get a sound out, like you can't even just go and blow air through it, that means your valves are not in all the way or they're not incorrectly. So make sure this has to be, have the num the inside has to have the number one on it, this has to have the number two on it, and this has to have the number three on it, right? Your first valve, second valve, third valve, all right? So take your time, make sure they get back in correctly, and um, make sure in the right order, and you heard that click, all right? Sometimes it's hard to hear at first, but you'll get used to it after a while. All right, awesome, good luck. Email me, have your parents email me if you have any issues or questions and it's, or if it's not working or you're not getting the sound through it and you're not sure why. Um, good luck, hope it goes well. Wipe off your hands with your paper towel when you're done. Always put your top back on your oil and put it back in your case. All right, awesome guys, good luck. I'll see you later.